नमस्कार दोस्तों यू आर वाचिंग टॉपर स्टॉक इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेज 22 का रिजल्ट यूपीएससी ने डिक्लेयर किया है और आज हमारे साथ हैं ऑल इंडिया रैंक थ्री सिक्योर किया है डी तेजस्विनी ने तेजस्विनी हैज अ लॉन्ग स्टोरी टू शेयर विद यू सी हैज बीन वेरी कंसिस्टेंट पास्ट में भी इन्होंने इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेज का इंटरव्यू दिया था बट सी कुडेंट क्वालिफाई सो वी विल डिस्कस की व्हाट वर द जर्नी एंड व्हाट काइंड ऑफ ऑब्स्टेकल्स सी फेस्ड ड्यूरिंग हर प्रिपरेशन बट बिफोर दैट आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस हर सी हैज डन हर ग्रेजुएशन फ्रॉम ट्रिपल आईटी इलाहाबाद ट्रिपल आईटी हैदराबाद इन ईयर 2016 After doing graduation, she started preparation with Medizi Delhi, and uh, then she appeared in engineering services. Uh, in twenty two, uh, in twenty twenty, she got um, interview call, but couldn't make it to the final list. Today, uh, she secured a rank three. So first of all, they just mean uh, congratulations to you and your family, and it is a wonderful achievement. How do you feel uh, at this moment? after this great success because your journey has been very long 2016 you did graduation and it's 2022 almost 23 so roughly around 6 uh, years more than 6 years so what is your feeling as of now after this great success first of all uh, thanks a lot sir you have been a great support in my journey because uh, i met you during the uh, gs coaching in delhi sir made easy coaching so currently i feel very relieved and very happy sir even my family is very happy like you said it has been a long journey i started my preparation in uh, 2018 april sir and uh, i gave my two attempts by 2020 and then i took a one year break i did not apply for 2021 and this is my third attempt so very relieved and happy yes third attempt and third rank that yes, is uh um, what do you think uh, ki were the reasons uh, behind not a very good performance in past exams where did you lack sir uh, the first attempt actually after my uh, btec in 2016 after graduation i worked for two years sir so i wasn't uh, in touch with the uh, technical subjects so in my first attempt i took time to uh, get a grasp on the subjects again and also to get the overall understanding of the exam pattern because it has like gsc has prelims mains and interviews so to grasp everything it took time for me sir i haven't had enough practice frankly and in the sec second attempt i rectified all the mistakes i tried to rectify so i with respect to the practice and also the resources mainly i try to limit the resources sir so mostly i try to stick to class notes and multiple revisions was what helped me and with respect to practice i would say i almost uh, attempted all the online test series of made easy and also the offline te test series that was conducted just before the exam one two three months so i used to give them religiously every week so i used to come back and uh, work on the like what what were my mistakes analyze the test paper that i gave and i used to mark the questions so at the end just before the exam what helped me was a uh, revision of the marked questions and the short notes that i prepared so that is it so multiple revisions of this limited resources is what helped me sir uh, yesterday um, with the students who are currently preparing the young aspirants who will be appearing in the next year so i told them to send me questions so that i can ask those questions with you all toppers who has been successful in this journey so one of the student has sent me a question he uh, he has prepared short notes and uh, he prepared these short notes because the syllabus is too lengthy so it is not practically possible to revise all the topics at the last moment of examination but he is very apprehensive about the fact that whether short notes are sufficient for the revision or not so i want your opinion because you also mentioned that you prepare short notes so how much short notes are helpful and uh, uh, when short notes should be given more preference should be prepared uh, at the beginning of the preparation or uh, we should prepare short notes at the end stage of the preparation what is your opinion yes, sir. sir i prepared short notes during my second attempt beginning of the preparation sir 
So I had made uh, around eight to nine pages for each subject. And when the short notes helped me the most was uh, just before the uh, exam, so one to two months before the exam, I stopped going back to the entire classrooms. I used to just revise these short notes because ESC is more formula based and uh, time is a constraint there in the prelims if we consider. So time and accuracy, if we have to manage, I what helped me the most was the short notes, sir. And uh, yes, sir, I believe short notes has a very important role. So yes, it helped, that is what worked for me at least, yes. Uh, in EC, there are few subjects, sir, different than the gate syllabus. They are known as extra syllabus in engineering services. So some of the students have sent me question, if someone has to prioritize out of those four subjects which are extra than the gate syllabus, so is there any possibility to prioritize any subject or uh, one need to prepare all the four subjects which are extra than the gate syllabus? What is your opinion? Sir, uh, what I think is uh, it depends from exam to exam, like year to year. We cannot choose to leave any of the subjects, sir. So I had prepared all the subjects, but it depends on the subject you are comfortable with. So if you are not comfortable with two to three subjects, at least prepare the basics. Because at least in prelims, we would be getting basic questions or like basic to moderate. We shouldn't be leaving the questions which everybody else will be attempting. So my suggestion would be to go through cover all the subjects. But as for your comfort, अगर किसी सब्जेक्ट में आप बहुत कम्फर्टेबल नहीं है तो बेहतर है की एटलीस्ट उसके प्रीवियस ईयर के क्वेश्चन देख करके और उन टॉपिक्स को जो बहुत ज्यादा फ्रिक्वेंटली पूछे जाते हैं तो एटलीस्ट प्रिलिम्स के लेवल तक तो जरूर तैयार करिए फिर मेन्स के लिए आप आगे चल करके स्ट्रेटजी बना सकते हैं तेजस्विनी व्हाट वर योर स्ट्रेटजी फॉर द मेंस एग्जामिनेशन बिकॉज इन प्रीलिम्स एंड मेंस वी गेट अब रफली अराउंड फोर टू फाइव मंथ टाइम सो आर यू प्रिपेयरिंग इन द फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट फ्रॉम द बिगनिंग और आफ्टर द प्रीलिम्स यू स्टार्ट प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द मेंस सर एटलीस्ट फ्रॉम माय एंड इट वाज ओनली लाइक वन स्टेप एट अ टाइम so before prelims i prepared solely for the prelims i used to religiously read the test series and my whole goal was to increase my attempt and accuracy in the prelims sir i started mains preparation only after the prelims um, and anyway we would we would have the uh, test series available everywhere so like online test series also we can give for conventional so i think we would have enough time after the prelims also so for conventional um how much one should attempt in each paper in conventional in present scenario what is your opinion because if i do remember uh, you were not very happy with your attempt uh, uh, in mains examination uh, as per our conversation over phone if i do remember uh, ki probably this year or last year i don't remember ki when we uh, were discussing but you were not very happy uh, about your attempt uh, uh, it seems uh, ki you lagged a few uh, questions but finally the result is very good so what is your opinion ki how one should approach uh, towards attempting number of questions Yes, sir. sir, during my second attempt, uh, whenever I gave the test series, on, online test series for conventional, even during the test series, my attempt wasn't very satisfactory for me. So I worked on it, but I couldn't improve it much. So the difference that I found between the second and the third attempt was that I practiced a lot. Like each concept, if you see, I prepared the notes. Um, like for each subject, there would be around 10 to 12 proofs. So that I maintained the proofs notes similar to the short notes that I made for prelims. And uh, practice is what uh, is the difference that I found between the second and the third attempt, sir. And the attempt, I can't give a number, I feel, because it, it varies based on the difficulty of the paper. So, yeah. This year, this year I think the paper was a little is, bit more difficult. Yes. Yes, sir. ESE is like elimination, sir. It's not selection, it's elimination. So you shouldn't leave a question, even if it's prelims or mains, you shouldn't leave a question which everybody else uh, will be attempting. So that should be the main thing, sir. 
one key point everyone should observe from her journey that uh, practice is very much required and uh, these are uh, these are the exams which need patience and, and uh, you need to practice again and again uh, uh just being some of the students has asked me ki usually exam say one day before jo pehli raat hoti hai they don't get good sleep uh, because of uh, stress because of an anxiety so did it happen with you and if it happened with you how did you manage with this yes sir sir uh, it happened with me also it wasn't a problem with the sleep but yes i was anxious before every exam that was common but so one thing that, that i noticed was if i kept on revising everything like just the theory part or the formula if i just keep on reading like going through the notes it would just add to the anxiousness so instead balance between the revision and the practice so even if it is just one night before the uh, any exam prelims or mains better to practice like pick 10 questions any question like it can be easy or difficult just pick 10 questions and keep practicing so that your practice is on the pace so one week before the uh, exam so some people tend to just keep on revising like there'll be a um, there we uh, as in we feel that we will be forgetting everything like we won't be remembering the main formula or something so we keep on revising so what i noticed is that we have to keep a balance between practice and the revision before the exam how was your experience with the uh, interview panel actually what i remember in mock interviews you were performing very well but in the last attempt uh, your final interview was probably not up to the mark so yes, how was your experience with the panel and uh, what you want to suggest for the coming aspirants regarding interview stage so my personal experience is that like whatever if uh, interview is like unpredictable even if you prepare like everything in technical and if you're not very confident on the current affairs part or non tech part you may be asked everything from the non tech so it's it's better you like leave no stone unturned so that is what my suggestion would be and my interview was mostly technical so both the last time and even now it was mostly technical 90% technical and 10% from my job profile and the dad so interview preparation is a bit different because uh, even if it's technical questions it will be more focused on the practical applications even if it was in the mock interviews that was what i was exposed to so i got to know my weak areas where i have to focus like uh, the technical uh, the practical application so that is what the interview focus has to be sir uh, for the viewers who are watching us i am giving you one information very soon we would be releasing uh, um, tejaswini's mock interview with you also on in the social media platform you can see how confident she is Uh, and uh, still in the first attempt she couldn't make to the final list because of the the few marks he may be lacking in mains or few marks he may be like lacking in interview but it is the patience which finally pays off and it is the patience and consistent effort which is uh, giving her a rank 3 uh tejaswini we have discussed a lot of thing a lot of things regarding preparation i would like to ask a few questions uh, um, related with your decision of coming to the engineering services uh as uh, as i know you were in very good job in a very reputed company and uh, your pay package was also good so what inspired you to come for the enge engineering services and leaving this uh, very well paid job uh, uh, where did you get that uh, inspiration to come to this uh, skill so one main factor is like you said i was happy with the money yes but uh, there is a factor of satisfaction sir my mother is a, a government employee so i got the first inspiration is uh, what i got is from her sir so i think ies would be a platform like uh, it's a it's a technical uh, uh, aligned aligned job anyway so it's not a non technical so i wanted to stay only in technical side so after working for one or uh, one and a half years i uh, i sat down and uh, i uh, thought of all the options that i have currently with with the background that i have the ec background so then uh, my mother suggested this sir uh, why don't you try ies so that was it was then that i got to know about ies and then uh, i started uh, this journey so yes 
So the whole point was about satisfaction for me. Yes. Uh, um, so, um, lots of things we discussed. Huh? At the end, uh, uh, I would like to give you um, um, uh, a platform uh, uh, to address the uh, young aspirants. What would be your suggestion uh, who are coming to prepare for the, uh, these examinations? Because UPSC gives you a very good opportunity to grow in your life. But the competitions uh, uh, are not very easy. Uh, their slavery is huge. They need patience. They need hard work. So, uh, as, as from your journey, what points you are wanting to tell to the stu uh, students uh, what they should keep in mind? Uh, in fact, your message to the student community. Yes, sir. sir, each attempt was a lesson to me, sir. So, the first attempt, I was more uh, trying to be a perfectionist like complete every class notes, complete every standard book. So I was focusing on doing everything. So we are human and we have to accept that and it won't be possible. So I think we shouldn't try to be a perfectionist and we have to do our best. Limit our resources, multiple revisions is what helped me get till this point, sir. And test series yeah, is yeah. one thing. या मैं थोड़ा सा रोकना चाहूंगा कई बार मैं क्लास में इस चीज को इस तरह से थोड़ा सा फनी वे में आप लोगों को समझाता हूं कि पीएचडी नहीं करना है पीएचडी yes. करने में 5 इयर्स लगते हैं एक टॉपिक में एंड ईयर यू हैव टू स्टडी 20 टॉपिक्स सो 100 इयर्स लग जाएंगे सो दिस वेरी पॉइंट वंस वुड अंडरस्टैंड कि यहां पर हमें बहुत ज्यादा परफेक्शन की तरफ नहीं भागना है बल्कि एग्जाम के रिक्वायरमेंट के लिए जी प्लीज आगे यस सर यस एंड द सेकंड अटेम्प्ट I missed by a 13 marks, sir, 12 or 13 marks. So what I learned from that is we shouldn't be focused, like we should be focused more on the means than the end. Like don't focus on the result. It's, it's easy to say, I understand, but we have to be mentally strong to, to follow that, sir. So I think we have to make ourselves mentally strong and be persistent uh, in the efforts that we put more than the result. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tejaswini, for joining us. And uh, once again, congratulations to you and your entire family. Congratulations to your mother. She has been an uh, inspiration for you. And uh, um, it is wonderful to see uh, you students. It is a very happy moment for us also as a teacher, as an institute. Uh, we are also very happy with your success. Khas taur par jab aapki success delayed ho kar ke mile aur us samay jab us har ek step par hum log ek tarah se gawah hote hain ki acha pichli baar aise failure hua us samay aapko dekha and now when you become successful now watching you the change in personality the change in confidence in cheezon ko witness karte hain to hum logon ko bhi bahut acha lagta hai so thank you very much for joining us and uh, keep spreading positivity keep achieving higher things in your life and we are wishing you good luck uh, and Medici family is wishing you good luck uh, and uh, for your bright future. And this would be a very new journey for you. Okay? So all the best for this new journey. Thanks a lot, sir. Thanks a lot for having me. Thank you, sir.